Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to my afternoon news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. Take a look at this suspect arrested, Michael Martell Jr. Man carrying bullets, Trump mask, planned home invasion. Man led officers on high-speed pursuit before crashing into snowbank, police say. Police thwarted a home invasion in Barnstead and were led on a high-speed pursuit through multiple towns Sunday evening, police said. Michael Martell Jr., 30 of Epsom, is charged with finally receiving stolen property, resisting arrest, disobeying a police officer, reckless operation, and possession of burglaries tools. Police said Martell was found hiding in the woods after crashing a stolen pickup truck while trying to to outrun them. Officers found several items in the truck including bullets, a drill, and a mask of President Donald Trump. Take a look at this photo the, that the Barnstead Police Department posted. And here are the items that they found, as you can see. Police said they received a tip that Martell planned the home invasion in relation for money owed from a previous drug deal. Martell was spotted by a Barnstead police officer, triggering the chase, police said. The truck reached speeds of 100 miles per hour as the chase went through Pittsfield before it ended with the crash into a snowbank in Chichester, police said. He put a lot of people in danger, Chief Paul Pryor said. There's no doubt about it. He wanted to get away for whatever reason. We also discovered that the truck he was driving was stolen earlier that evening out of Concord. Pryor said Martell was out on bail at the time of the chase. He had earlier been arrested by state police for possession of a firearm with obliterated serial numbers. And here's a look at what the Barnstead Police Department posted on their Facebook page 23 hours ago. Press release for immediate release. And that does it for my afternoon news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great afternoon, and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.